adding and grading an assignment. At the top of the screen, choose the section and task you would like to align the assignment to. Next, click the plus add button to create an assignment. A second screen will display. All fields in red are required. Name the assignment and give it an abbreviation. Abbreviations can be up to five characters. You can add sections if you would like to assign the assignment to more than one section, give an assigned date and due date, enter a gradebook sequence. If you choose one for every assignment, assignment sorting will default to due date. You could assign one to all tests and two to all homework to bundle similar assignments together. If you created a student group and would like to align the assignment to that student group, this is where you would select your group. Choose the category the assignment should be aligned to. Please note that all categories carry a different weight. Make sure the standard grading task is term grade. Add the total points the assignment is worth and change the multiplier if you choose. Click Save and Close. Now you can grade the assignment. Each assignment occupies a column within the gradebook. You can work your way down the column like a spreadsheet and enter the score for each student in the appropriate box. Click on the chevron arrows at the top next to the assignment to expand out additional options, like leaving comments and student assignment tagging. Comments are free form and will show in the portal. Assignment tags are turned in, missing, late, incomplete, cheated, exempt, and dropped. Most of these just function as informational tags. However, if you mark exempt or dropped, the grade will be ignored during calculation. If you mark missing or cheated, the grade will calculate in as a zero. If you want to give the same grade to multiple students or give the same comment to all students, click on Fill Scores Comments at the top of the box. Grades and comments can be filled for all students or only students with empty score boxes or present and empty. Click on Fill and you will see that the grades have populated. Every time you make a change, the Save button turns orange, notifying you to click and save your edits. If you try to move to a different screen before saving, you will receive a warning notification.